what's up y'all happy sunday it is yet another week that we're starting out new so i'm so excited today because i get to interview someone extremely special to me um her name is tiana barnes and she has her own shoe line collection that guys like if you've seen these shoes on my feet on instagram that i posted you're gonna want a pair for yourself um as i always say on my motto beauty is on the inside Beauty is on the outside, and of course, beauty is always loving yourself. And we're going to love on ourselves by actually getting a little bit of the shoe biz talk uh, with Tiana, and then also finding out how we can actually purchase them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring her up because I see that she's already on this beautiful Sunday, and I can't wait to see what she has to tell us today. And hey, Kay. Good. Well, I... It's not even good morning, it's good afternoon. <laughs> Tiana, I'm gonna try to bring you up. Let's see. Had to play a little bit of Beyonce because Tiana does have some six inch heels. Hi! Hello, hello. Hey girl. Hey, hey, what's up? <laughs> what's going on? You look gorgeous. So do you. I see a glow. <laughs> Yes, I had to. It's Sunday. I had to get like the Sunday brunch type of feeling going on. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm so excited to talk to you because not only do I know you, <laughs> and we're so goofy. <laughs> not only are you like literally, I can say you like a mentor slash friend you're also a great sword shout outs to dst that was a sigma theta sorority incorporated Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> and um not only that but you're a boss and you make your own shoes and you're a shoe designer and everything so i've said a lot <laughs> <laughs> thank but, you for that intro yes I really appreciate it that was so nice and kind thank you for the kind words too i appreciate that yes <laughs> And of course, while I'm saying this, you were just featured in Worth.com, and you spilled actually a lot of you spilled a lot of tea actually in that <laughs> as well. So, how does it feel to have that article about you? Because it's, it's a lot of info that you shared, a ton of info. And so, um, that if anybody like follows my story, it's a journey. I always tell people I like to start off with that. This is. Not, you know, Tiana woke up one day, she was working in corporate America, she woke up and said, yeah. oh, I want to be a shoe designer. That's completely not my story. It's definitely a divine journey. And so yeah. every single thing that has happened to me and in my business um, has, all been, has always been about purpose and passion and connecting those two. Yeah. And so um, interesting, uh, interestingly enough, the Worth magazine came about from my old boss, actually. Wow. Exactly. So I used to work for a firm that was UK based. You know, I was in London a lot last year, um, spent some time there for five weeks and really just kind of fell in love with London a little bit. But anyway, yeah. um, I've since left that company, but I'm, I always keep the doors open. It's always yes. good to never um, burn bridges and keep the lines of communication open because you never know what any, you know, what will transpire in the future. And so he's a huge supporter of my business yeah. um, outside of, you know, my, my corporate world and things of that sort. But he's always been a super supportive um, person and a, and a huge fan and an advocate um, for me and my business and helping it grow. And so he connected with the CEO of Words Magazine. Wow. And she, that's huge. Exactly. And he connected she and I. And so she and I had a very good conversation. And so she was like, I want to do a story on you and I want to build a partnership. So I actually have a partnership working with worth.com. Um, so not only was it just that interview, but you'll see some upcoming things um, between myself and worth.com. Um, um, yes. So, you know, that was really exciting. I had the interview and um, she asked some really great questions and taped it. And typically when I do those interviews, people chop it up and only yeah. put in a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I was so proud that she put in pretty much everything that I said on the Girl, phone. I saw that and I said, <laughs> I, like, I could read, you know, I talked to you on the phone. Right. So I'm like, yeah, this is definitely Tiana's words. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and it was great because I was able to, if someone does get a chance to get to know you and or if they just follow you or et cetera, I do feel like it gives them a more authentic piece of you and things that you're up to and that you're doing. So it's able to have a more better connection as well. Absolutely. So that piece was amazing. Um, like I said, she she basically put in there everything that I said. There were, you know, no decoding of anything. All the information was kind of straight from the source. And so I'm, I appreciate when things are written about me that I say and they yes. nail it. Because um, I think it's important for people who are following who want to be inspired. A lot of people follow me or, you know, want to meet me and things of that sort because they're inspired by the journey. And that's part of my purpose is for people right. to be inspired by the things that I went through so they can take the leap into their own personal journey or their own faith walk, et cetera. But I'll say that article um, and then the Forbes article, which ironically enough, this is my fifth year anniversary. Congrats. Forbes, thank you. So I'm really excited about that as well. And um, that Forbes article came out in five years ago in May. And, yeah. and that was, that's an, that's an amazing piece as well. So yes. I'm happy. <laughs> First of all, I would be too. And the fact that you're mentioning, and I'm going to get into other questions as well. But the fact that, you know, you're mentioning all these things that I feel like also are considered a success, because your win is a, a win for other black women too, especially when it comes to someone inspired or that's inspired or is aspiring to right. do something of their own. And they really don't have someone to connect to, to even find the steps to, to know how to do anything. Um, for instance, I read in your article um, how you flew out <laughs> to Cleveland to take a like to take a shoe class or a shoe design class, and then you kind of came out with a prototype after the class. I think that is extraordinary. That's that's super dope. When I look back at that, that was me taking my leap of faith into the vision that God had already gave me, but I didn't yeah. know what it was. I thought, oh, this is a hobby. <laughs> I've always <laughs> liked shoes. I'm, I have nice yeah. shoes outside of my own collection of shoes, and I always have. Anybody that knows me personally knows that about me yeah. um, since growing up. Like my parents, you know, the, that was a thing. I had nice shoes. Um, and so... For me, I was like, oh, I'll just take this class, but I didn't want anything to be very theoretical. It's like, I have three yeah. degrees. I had to go back to school. I didn't want yes. to get like a history lesson. I mean, those things are important and those components are important, but I'm saying at that particular time in my life, I mm -hmm. really was like, I want to make a shoe. Like I'm having these designs, I'm doing this sketching thing and I want to see where this would take me. Right. So I found that class, of course there were classes in New York um, classes in Italy, which I would have loved to take, but um, I have a, a son, you know, he has yeah. school. Um, and in addition, those classes are very expensive. They're very costly. And so um, I, I just couldn't fly away and take off work for, you know, one, yeah. two weeks to go take a class where I'm literally sitting there right. doing history lessons. <laughs> so I stumbled upon um, this, this lady in Cleveland. She has a small manufacturing and distribution center. She does mm -hmm. custom shoes. So she doesn't do anything like mass production or large right. production runs like what, what I do with my um, collections. But um, she makes specialty shoes for her clientele. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, connected with her over the phone, had a really good conversation. Her class was expensive too. And I was like, okay, so we, you know, <laughs> I'm going to pencil this in in about six months and I'm going to come and take the class. You know, I'm super excited. Let's stay connected. You know, one of those things. And so we were, we were, we would intermittently connect because she actually connected me with my first graphic artist. He was in Ohio too. So here I am. Beautiful. You know, my whole life is about, online global working all of that stuff so right. i'm like doing my raw sketches here i am very much a novice and i'm not an artist by design but i'm doing my raw sketches of my visions i'm like emailing them and sending pictures to this man in ohio wow <laughs> and he would turn them around into something amazing that i was like you nailed it like you nailed it that's awesome and right. for a shoe that someone would but typically like ourselves would wear i think that and I think that part, the graphic part that you're saying is key because, you know, we can't wear nothing crazy on our feet. It makes it come to life. Like I have the vision. I put down the sketch, the raw sketch. Then I mm -hmm. start, you know, looking for pictures, 
looking at different materials and I put that all together and that becomes a mood board. Now, back in the day when I started, I didn't know that that was the term, the mood board. Mood board, yeah. That's what I was putting together all that time is the mood board. This is what I need the shoe to look like. This is the fit. This is the toe cap, you know, all that. I needed all of that, the colors. And I would put that together and literally like email or send him pictures. And wow. he would turn it around, and I'm like, then that became like my cat drawings, you know, and my okay. official kind of sketches and things of that sort. And it just an amazing experience. So anyway, fast forward about four months, five months later, November 2013, I stayed in contact with the lady. I told her, what do you have available for January? Mm -hmm. And um, she said, you know what? I've been in contact with the graphic designer. I see what you're doing. You have raw talent. And if you come in two weeks, which would have been mid-December, something like that. If you mm -hmm. come in two weeks, I will give you a discount and I will give you yes. a private class and a private class. So she was going That's to teach beautiful. Me, right. Way more than what I would have been taught in the typical class that she, um, she had. Mm -hmm. And so of course I flew to Cleveland in the middle of a snowstorm and spent the next like four and a half days working like 12 to 16 hours a day, one-on-one -on -one with this lady. And I mean, the amount of knowledge and, um, you know, information. And then of course the hands on making the prototype of one of my own shoes that yes. I experienced in four and a half days was just invaluable. I mean, it was wow. just like everything wrapped in one. And so after that, December, 2013, January, 2014, I established my business. I wrote my business plan. I got my label. I mean, not my label, excuse me, my logo. Um, trademarked all of that one of my dear friends one of our sorors one of my good friends yes exactly hey, hey. hey. <laughs> um she was in miami at the time she's now in france she and her okay. family and they uh she and her husband uh co-own a trademark uh, attorney uh, they're both attorneys but they have a trademarking business that they do globally so they're, they're living mm -hmm. in france right now but anyway she did all of my trademarking all my logo stuff for me and i had a business and then i spent the next year um kind of putting my plan together of how I was going to um, launch this collection, how I was going to get introduced to a factory in Italy, you know, all that great stuff. Wow. So I know we've had a talk as well. And we talk about like the foundation of your business and planning um, mm -hmm. for years ahead. And that's why I say like, I also look to you as a, as a mentor as well. And I'm very fortunate actually <laughs> to even know you. Um, <laughs> oh. Because even how we met, we did like we had an interview in 2018, right. and then fast forward, like you never know who you meet, and like you said, like you keep those connections, and you never know where those same connections can take you. Okay. And then fa fast forwarding to even the the advice that you're even giving is actually very like they're those are gems, I should say, <laughs> because I know you talk about setting yourself up with success with building a good business plan. So do you want to talk a little bit about that portion too? Because I know you mentioned capital in um, that article as well, how that's hard to, to get, especially in the fashion world. Yeah, I mean, and that's for any small business. Then you put on top of that a black small business. Then you put on top of that a, a, a minority as in a woman owned business, then it makes it even harder, right? There's all these layers. Yeah. But, um, so my business plan, so I have my MBA, so... I had a little bit of an advantage, right? To write yes, you did. Plan. That's what I did in business school. So I already knew um, how to write my business plan. And I had already had the vision. I already knew where I wanted my shoes to be made. You know, I knew the aesthetic of the shoe that I was going to design and where I wanted it to be made. So I did my own due diligence and my research on like the shoe market and the industry and the price point and who my customer would be. So I did all that stuff on my own when I initially started. Now, since then, I've, you know, worked with some experts in that area to yeah. fine tune and, you know, get things um, the way that they should be now. But initially, that's what I did. And I also knew because in my corporate world, I was a, um, and I still have that business as well, but uh, work in IT. Yes. <laughs> it was a, like, IT. Extra plus. Another extra plus, <laughs> right? I've worked in consultancy business and IT management consultant for like, over 16, 17 years. And so yeah. I know how to build a team. I know how to build a on and offshore team, work globally with people. And so a lot of those things from my career path and my educational path really played a direct role into me being an entrepreneur. Totally yeah. set me up 
for that, right? Mm -hmm. um, the MBA, you know, like I said, I wrote my business plan, um, did all the research that I needed to. And, you know, I met someone, and I can't remember how I met him, um, but just probably talking, I'm a networker. Anybody yes, we, we have, we have to, we have to be, that's how, that's how we sustain and keep a business. Your network is your net worth. That is, as a CEO, that is your responsibility to bring yes. in business, to bring in resources, right? So, and naturally, thank God that is part of who I am outside yes. of, you know, my business. But, um, I don't remember how I met this gentleman, but anyway, I was living in Connecticut at the time and, mm -hmm. um, whoever it was, connected me with someone at a bank, one of the kind of local banks at Conne in Connecticut. I went and had a meeting with him, had a good conversation and told him what I was trying to do, told him about my business plan, showed him my business plan, you know, yeah. all the information that they needed. And he was like, well, our bank wouldn't be able to do this um, just yet because at the time I had, I, I was about to launch the business. I hadn't even launch the business. So I had wow. zero sales. I had no sales. <laughs> I'm like, I need somebody. So somebody's gonna give me somebody. I have a business and it will thrive and somebody's gonna give me somebody. Immediately. And that was my attitude. And so he was so helpful. He got behind my business, my whole idea and vision. He connected me with um a small business um administration um organization within Connecticut and they gave me a, a SBA, a small business loan. Yes. And I, I think that's really, really key, yeah. especially if someone is just starting out. I think, you know, Tiana, if someone doesn't have their MBA yet, or let's just say someone hasn't taken that leap to maybe go to a design school, maybe they're not really into fashion. It could be something else that they choose or like to do. But yeah. do you think that it's definitely necessary to go back to go, you know, get an MBA to kind of have that type of knowledge? Or do you think it's something that could just be learned if they have the right person that they're that they're speaking to at this point i do not think that you have to get an mba to write a business plan absolutely not um especially if if you can google there's a ton of things on yes. you know, googling you can go get a um template of a business plan right you yes. still need to know what your product is what your business is put the work in do the yes. research do the due diligence to complete the business plan but you absolutely do not have to go and get an MBA. I said for me that, you know, it was all helpful. Everything that I've done in my career and yep. educational wise just kind of set me up, gave me a layout. I mean, a, excuse me, a layup for, you know, being an entrepreneur. Yeah. But no, you don't have to have an MBA. You can, like I said, everything that you need is free. You can find free <laughs> on Google, but you have to do the work, you know, to put the information in there, the right information in there. Um, and you also need to, again, be a networker, you know, tell people, the right people about your ideas, because you never mm -hmm. know who's listening or who may can refer you to someone else that can help get your business off the ground or to the next level. Again, I got yes. a small business loan and I hadn't even started my business yet. I, but that's a, first of all, I work in marketing currently. So what you have really is 360. You have creative. You have everything that you're doing that's promotional, uh, graphics, which are super key. Then yep. you have the marketing, but that goes into more of like, I guess, like your business plan and different things that you're doing. So there's like, if I think of like a square, like there's like different avenues that you have to take in a square pretty much to kind of like be well-rounded within a business. That's just kind of how I foresee it. But I think that you have those particular points where you're able to, you know, navigate Then I think someone's pretty well off, at least to start right at, at least well that's the thing you can start there right and one thing that i've always wanted i, I mean i you know again it's a journey and you, it's a sacrifice i moved from connecticut to new york new jersey area because of my business so i could launch my business you know yeah. you gotta be serious about what you're trying to do you have to be intentional and you have to be focused and you will be successful you know now it may not be the success that you think some people think success is monetary you know but yeah. it's not necessarily the monetary piece of it it can be other ways but you have to put in the work but one thing that i wish that i had um starting off was a mentor because i think yeah. i could have saved myself <laughs> some mistakes and some mm -hmm. money to be um yep. you know honest um on some things that i did you know i had hired a um pr company 
when I first launched my business because I thought that was the thing to do. But had yeah. I had a mentor that was in this industry, they would have mm -hmm. told me, don't sign a, a six month agreement with a PR company and you're just now starting out. There were some wow. pluses to that, but there was, it did, it, my ROI was not what it needed to be to be mm -hmm. a small business just starting out. I could have used that money other places. Girl, <laughs> you, that. you're spilling so much tea right now and shout outs to Sita too. Um, I see Kai on here. I see Sita in here. Thanks everybody for uh, the the hearts. Keep giving her hearts because <laughs> not only does she have a great heart on her own, but she's oh, like she's just dope. Like this is totally dope. And Sita actually did give like you said you can Google stuff online as well. Like you don't have to put out so much money. So she I did pin Sita's comment. Um, it's called LivePlan.com that has like great business templates for you guys. So most people on here, I think some I know most people have businesses. So Please take advantage of this because I don't know where else you're going to get this type of talk because sometimes people hold a lot of these things in too. It's kind of hard to find a mentor. Sometimes mm -hmm. I feel like we don't, as I'll say as black women for now, because we're two black women talking, but just the black community, some people don't always share information and or it's like when you have a come up, I have a come up for well, whoever who's right. behind you. Um, has a come up too, but sometimes it's not always, those resources aren't always circulating. Right. And it depends on who you know, which is why when you do get these um, invitation, invitations to meet someone who's very astounding, or if you have, like, if I know you, or I know Sita, I know Kai on here, I know, like, plenty of women on here mm -hmm. who are doing their thing. Yeah, um, absolutely. Like, hold those to your dear life. Keep in contact so that you can get these type of business talk classes right on the phone or while you're having dinner <laughs> and anybody that knows me i'm not one to hone in on information and hoard it it's, it's not that serious first of all yeah. all this information is public knowledge why would i be hoarding it when i can tell you where to go get it so when right. people do that i'm always like what is what's the problem here i don't understand mm -hmm. that because i wasn't raised like that right so, just like you and I met. I'm sure when I met you, I probably gave you a couple of gems just when we yes. first met, right? Yep. It, wasn't, it wasn't like, oh, I, I can't say this. I can't tell her this. My competition is me. Always yes. has been. It's me. Yes. It's not anybody else. And this information is public. So what are we what are we doing? <laughs> yes. I'm always, I'm always bamboozled by that. But anyway, I won't go on that soapbox. But um, yeah, if anybody ever has any questions, feel free to ask. Now, you know, I, you know, People are busy and people do have time restrictions and commitments. So you do right. have to honor that. But at the same time, you know, a lot of this information is just taking, you know, a weekend and going out, understanding what your vision is first. I think that's mm -hmm. the first thing you need to do. Yep. And then go to Google and then go find places where people are. Like I said, I literally relocated me and my son from Connecticut to New York, to New Jersey, because I needed to be ingrained in this fashion business. I was serious about my business. Yes. That serious where I moved, you know, to yes. a Yes, but I, that, was a, that was awesome because it actually led you to a plethora of opportunities. Like your shoes have been styled on the Met Gala red carpet. Um, I know you What's were able mean? to, I have to give you a shout out to that. Then they were just on Amanda Sills' feet when she um, paid tribute to the nostalgia, uh, nostalgia of, of Fresh Prince, Hillary Banks. Yeah. Like she's wearing your shoes. Like how does that like feel when you're able to see that? Because the last accomplishment that you had, that was on the biggest cultural movement. Shout outs to Brittany who works at BET too. And Kai, um, that was great. Like yeah. more than great. Yeah, so I have been, um, I'll say I'm very grateful yeah. And just really blessed because these stylists have found me. And that's mm, amazing. Yeah. Mm, For mm. me, that's that's what's amazing, number one. And that then number good. two, you know, the celebrities wearing it, that's really, really great and yeah. um, exciting. But the fact that, you know, someone reached out to me to entrust mm -hmm you know, my brand with their vision for their client, which I'm sure they hold their client very near and dear. Yeah, uh, that's a big thing for me. So I get it. I get fulfillment from that. Um, and that's amazing. So, you know, Amanda Seals, which was amazing. Yes. Debbie Smith, Dapper, yes. Dapper, all that was just like, out of here, right? That was yes. really great. Um, 
Naturi Naughton from Power was one of the first celebrities to ever wear my shoes. And um, shout out to her stylist, Pamela, who has been a supporter yes. of my business from day one. And so that's another thing. Build the relationships, right? Build yeah. the relationships with the stylist. Build the relationships with the celebrities if you have an opportunity. Boz, who just got the, the big job, uh, marketing job over at Netflix, has been a huge supporter of my shoes. She's worn yeah. them. In, in style magazine the new york times like yeah, yeah. and i'm the list goes on I'm just thankful <laughs> yeah and the list goes on so i'm just very thankful and grateful um for the opportunity um and then i'm grateful for the opportunity to even build relationships with these people because it's yes. one thing for somebody to reach out to you and say oh i want to pull blah 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 but to actually have conversations actually yes. be able to meet them actually send a text or email every now and then mm -hmm. that is what's important to me. And that's what really warms my heart. Yeah. This whole, this whole business, this whole journey that I'm you on. Got, so. You got to have a good name in business too. You got it. Like you got to keep that. I think that's how the word starts spreading. Like yeah. it's, it's crazy, right? I could know you, but then you're connected to so many other people where it could turn into a whole full, sometimes life goes very full circle. So you, you just, like you said, just to piggyback off of you, like you just never know where you'll end up. And you want that same name that the same things that you're sharing that are positive, you know, the most positive light about myself, you, for anyone else who's on here, you want to <laughs> keep that same thing going because you never know where you, where, like who, where your blessings coming from on this Sunday. <laughs> On this fine Sunday. <laughs> Hope somebody else is listening out there to drop a good blessing. <laughs> yes. Well, speaking of that, I do want to, like, spread some blessings about uh, talking about your shoes. <laughs> do you want to yeah. show some of them? Do you have um, – I know we talked yesterday. I know you had a few to show us. But before you do, who is the Tiana Barnes woman or man? Like, who, who, is, who are those people? Well, the men will come a little bit later <laughs> men are always like oh do you design men's shoes i'm like oh no i don't but um, i'm sure that'll be on the horizon next mm -hmm. after we get this this women's uh collection to where i want it to be personally but um okay. my lady is a go-getter she's a you know she can be at the top of her game and whether she's an entrepreneur in corporate and philanthropy etc but she's a go-getter she's a woman on the go, she likes to dress from day to night, you know, and not necessarily change. So she's going from the office to happy hour, still rocking her TV. Yes. She, may, she may change up her blouse or her pants or her jeans, but those shoes are going to remain from day to night. That's my girl. That's my girl. Oh, then first of all, I so I posted the shoes the other day. <laughs> yes. And actually, guys, like I took that picture maybe like two years ago. But yeah. they are so relevant. They're still relevant to this day. They have not lost their style, their touch. Like, honestly, Tiana, if they're still available, like, <laughs> I would want someone to, like, if you're interested in those, to be able to get your hands on them. But you do have them in black, too. Yeah. Um, but, like, I like how you, you know, the shoes are fly. That's how I design. <laughs> and I think that I can attribute to my parents, you know, from dressing me to young and teaching mm -hmm. me style. Both my parents were pretty stylish. Rest in peace to my mother, but my dad is still <laughs> with us. And they they were both into fashion. They like to look good, both of them. Um, and so mm -hmm. I attribute that kind of classic piece, right? That's how yeah. I try to design my shoes as like staple classic shoes. I don't really design too many trendy shoes. I don't think any of my shoes honestly are trendy. Yeah. Um, I feel like they're all classic, kind of with a little yeah. modern edge and a little spice to it. But spicy for sure. Exactly. A little <laughs> spicy. We like spicy. I love spicy. We like spicy. And so, you know, what I want for my women, because, and I price them at, I call it an affordable luxury price point. I get it. Yeah. Like everybody doesn't have discretionary cash to just spend four or $500 on a pair of shoes. Yeah. But they're not a thousand. They're not twelve hundred, and people are doing that all day, every day. For Even for bags, brands, exactly. Uh, bags, exactly. the smallest bags. Start More than my shoes. More than my at shoes. twelve. No, sometimes they're what? Like I say, nine hundred. But the bigger, obviously, you get, it's gonna go up and up and up. So you exactly. always need a pair of shoes to match your purse, lady. 
Exactly. And so for me, I priced it specifically at that price point because, again, they are luxury shoes. They okay. are made in Italy. Um, I did not want to be in that $1,000 and up price point because of who my customer is. And yeah. I, wanted to keep, I wanted to service that group. And people have to understand that when you are buying any product, any luxury product, you want to, number one, for it to be quality, for it to yep. last, have longevity, and yeah. to be able to pull it in and out of your closet to mix and match with various things in your wardrobe. Yeah. So you, but the thing with my shoe, you get a black pump. It's not just your regular black pump. Like it's going to have a little bit of detail, a little little spice to it. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. that, but that black pump is a classic black pump. So you can wear it 2020, or you can wear it in 2024 and still be fly. Like that's yes. how I try to design my shoes. Girl, so, yeah. I do have a couple <laughs> there. You're gonna like be mad at me though because I have to dash over and get them really quickly. Okay, <laughs> I, that's fine. I forgot. I forgot to have them set up. It's okay. I'll shout some people out on okay. here too, and actually, yeah, I'll talk okay. about. That's fine. I'll actually talk about. I guess um, what we're offering today too in regards to shoes. There you go. Okay. All right, y'all. So I just want to tell everybody. Happy Sunday. Shout outs to everyone. Thank you for your comments. If you have questions, please make sure to put it in the question box because I would love to shout you out. Um, in addition, we are doing 20% um, off of Tiana shoes. So I'm going to actually put in the comment box um, the promo code and it's going to be beauty talk 20. So you guys as well, even though you know, we like to have some quality shoes on our feet. You can have a discount as well on her shoes. Um, and Tiana. And can I mention, can yeah. I mention one thing? Yeah. So I don't know if people know this, but when you go to the website, if you sign up on the email list, you automatically get 20% off your purchase. Automatically. Boop. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you subscribe to her emails as well those are yeah. very important we see and I think you know a lot of places definitely do that but guys like her shoes are very top notch so you know if you know that you're going to be somewhere in a little bit um I know you know we're kind of like in a pandemic well we really are but people are still kind of stepping out get them shoes you never know where you're going to go where you're going to need them for <laughs> grab them <Right. laughs> So we have a little sneak peek. So I'm, I'm going to show you a couple from um, the upcoming collection and then a, a shoe from um, just what, my classic shoe that yeah. I love and everybody else seems to love it because most of the sizes kind of sold out really fast. I have like maybe two pair left, but okay. um, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. So I'll start off with the current collection. So this is the Reagan. Can you see that? Hey, Reagan. Yes, and this is named after my sister. And how ironic, though. I, I just picked this shoe, but today is her birthday. So shout oh, out to my sister. Happy birthday, sis. Yes, little sis is, oh, I forgot how old she is. She's still in her 20s, though. She got some hey, life sis. to live. <laughs> right. But this is the Reagan, and this is what I was just talking about, kind of like a classic shoe, right? The classic structure. This is a beautiful pump. Um, but you, you still have a little detail, you know, to make it yeah. sexy, give it a little spice. But this is a pump that you can pull out and wear whenever, whenever, yes. with whatever, jeans, a suit, however you feel. If you feel like being a power woman and putting on your suit. Those look very, honestly, to me, when I look at those, those look very boss. Like, like I'm about to walk into um, an exec meeting and kill it. <laughs> or I'm about it. to, like, absolutely, like, can't tell me anything. And the first thing that people look at, I don't care what anybody tells me, is most likely your shoes. Like, they look at what you got on from head to toe, and they start at your shoes. Especially women. Women, we love shoes, so we will, right? We'll kind of look up, but the shoes, dress from the bottom up, is what I like to say. Dress from the bottom up. But the other thing I wanted to mention about the the, the shoe is, um, the pump, is that I also made it where it has a little toe cleavage. So it's very sexy on mm -hmm. your foot. It's not yeah. kind of your standard um, pump where most of this will be covered. It'll probably start around here and mm -hmm. cover a lot of your toes. So it's it's super sexy. You can wear it with tights. You can wear it without tights and still be really cute and sexy. I can see definitely with those, uh, like when you're mentioning tights, like a nice uh, black pattern tight. 
with a dress. Um, yes. Who knows where you're going, but for sure. You can go to the office like that. I've clearly gone to the office in some really nice, you know, pattern tights, not over the top, not yeah. you know, over the top, but just some really cute ones with, um, you know, a nice black suit and put your shoes on. That's the other thing. Um, a lot of people like to wear black. And if that's the case, that's fine. Get you a shoe that has a pop of color exactly. and take your wardrobe to the whole, you know, to a next level. So that's that. This shoe was on Tamron Hall. Tamron Hall said she loved this shoe, so I can't yes. wait to put this out. But this is really cute. I kind of style this with like breakfast at Tiffany's in mind. I um, see that all the way. It looks like right? a Tamron Hall shoe, to be honest. It fits her personality as well. Like she's very classy, very elegant, but very like straightforward at the same time. It exactly. Just, I love it. <laughs> and, you know, my infamous T-strap, my first collection had a T-strap. I think every shoe, <laughs> I mean, every collection that I make will have a T-strap because I love T-straps. Um, I really love this shoe. This is one of my favorites. And so my next collection will have this um, logo. And this was Ooh. inspired. So I went to Milan. Yeah, I went to Milan in 2018. And I actually worked with the design team um, in Milan. Mm -hmm. um, to come up with my new collection, which we did 12 different styles, two different SKUs. And so I've pulled some shoes from that collection of shoes to basically put out in 2020. I'm not going to put out gotcha. all 12. That doesn't make sense. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But eventually the others will come out um, if that's what I decide. But I, I did pull um, five styles that will come out with, and this is one of them. But um, this, I was literally walking in Milan by myself going to get something to eat from my hotel and there mm -hmm. was an art gallery. Everything was closed in this area and it was kind of a, a, a nice shopping area but okay. there was an art gallery and there was this floor to ceiling uh, picture and it was of a fan. You know the old school fans? And yeah. The flare fans? Yes. Yeah. And you like you just like wind yourself? Right. Yeah. And that was what the picture was. It sounds very simple, but it, it was a painting and it was an art gallery. So it's very fancy, but it sounds very simple. But I looked at that and I inverted it. And that's how I came up with this design. It was so it's weird. So cute. I, honestly, I, I love those. And I feel like when you put the TV on them, yes. are they going to be, is it going to be like a gold plate type of thing going on? No, I'm just going to keep it like this. I mean, this, this, okay. you'll see when you see the other shoes. Well, not today, but when the collection comes out, yeah. you'll see how I built kind of this, I call it like an emblem, how you, okay. build, how, how, how I built this in the collection of the shoes. And it, it it's two tone. I don't know if you guys can see it's that. It's fire. Right? I like the red too. The, the, like the red accent just kind of brings the shoe all together. It's like a, and that's what the tinge of color. And that's what you're going to see with the collection like that. Red is actually a part of kind of the, the design here, okay. um, as well as the, the two-tone. I don't know if you guys can see yeah. that, but the two-tone within. Um, and of course, red is my favorite color. I'm biased, though, too. Yes, you know. wink, wink. <laughs> wink, 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 wink. But yeah, so I'm really excited about this shoe. Another, another thing I did is I like, I listened to my customers. I, I did a number of pop-ups over the last five years, and um, you know, independent showings and silent mm -hmm. auctions and things like that. So I really love to touch base with the, the customer and the clientele. And one thing that they said is, oh, the hill is too high. I'm like, what? Hill is not high. That hill is sexy. That hill this is, is fire. That's so this, sexy. This is four inches. So everybody can't wear four inches. So the new collection, I did three and three and a half inches okay. and lower. Okay. So that, that's my, fair. Right, it's fair. I said I'm gonna be fair because I can wear four inch, but I get it. Not everybody want can wear four inch and all day and all that stuff. Yeah. And of course, I want my ladies to be in their shoes all day, day to night. So yeah. I did make the heels a little bit lower for the new collection, and okay. I'll show one more. Okay, little sandal. I love those. Yeah, they would go perfect for sandal. my outfit right now, Tiana. Oh, it would. I know. It really, really would. I could drive to Edgewater today. <laughs> <laughs> Come and get them. <laughs> I'll meet you at a meeting point. Right somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm super excited about these, and I think if these go off the way that I want them to, I'll probably like bring these in different collections. I really love the yeah. PVC. So when you put it on, you can see, you know, mm -hmm. the, your, your foot in there and it looks really, really good. There might be one thing that I change on here and that might become a buckle. I'm not sure. Okay. Yet. But 
Oh, anyway, we're going back three on that. Yeah. Yes. The buckle, or do you guys like the sling back? I think I might. I like the sling back. I think the sling back is really nice. It like for now, like you're in the summer, like a summertime feel, or you're going out. Maybe the buckle could be for fall, winter to kind of distinguish the shoe. You know. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 That's what I'm and saying. But everyone, I saw you said sling back too. They like the sling back. Oh, yes. that's my Candace girl. travels. That's Candace. That's my girl. Candace wrote an amazing article on me too with Black Enterprise, a two part. They did two parts. And so if you Google that, you'll find that. And that's really, really good because she knows me personally. She and I went to Clark Atlanta University together. I'm an HBCU grad and yes. I also went to a PWC as well. I graduated from Georgia Tech as well. So just shout out to my HBCU folks. Yes. Hey, Candace. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> And so this one is really, really cute, too. It's the same style, but mm -hmm. you can see that it looks a little dressier only because of the material and the colors yes. that I decided to use. So it's actually two-tone. It's a rose gold and like an antique gold. You probably can't yes. really see it that well, but this is rose gold. Great for wedding easy. dresses, too. Like, I, I'm thinking, like, if you're a bridesmaid, um, if you're, like, if maybe a possible bride, perhaps, um, maybe with like a maybe some extra elements because of course like that's someone's special day I'm getting um holiday perhaps exactly. a little bit too because it's exactly. like the gold the golds and the sparkles and yeah you know I got so that I wore sexy. this to a holiday party in January right before COVID I wore this yeah. with an all red dress and got rave reviews so you would wear this one going out and you would wear this one just on you know, whenever you want to wear, just for fun. Yes. But it's funny that you said a wedding shoe. This was my sister's wedding shoe. She got married last year, year before last. I can't remember. Last year, I think. But I made her a white satin. Wow. Yes, shoe. Tiana. <laughs> Little perks. Yes. So if anyone is getting married, perhaps, if you need a particular stable shoe, customized, or at least if you like what you're seeing, hit her up. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, everybody can't get a custom shoe. Like, I'm not, I'm not there yet with my factories. They, they, like, wait, Tiana, you cannot make a one-off shoe. I was able to make her a shoe because yeah, I, I was going through my sampling process, and all they did I got you. was just change the materials for her, right? Yeah. The style, thankfully, she liked the style, which was already, you know, the Like, was already set right. in stone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so we, we just changed up the material. Sorry, girl. <laughs> Sorry, girl. But actually, I had, for her wedding, I had the bottom of her shoes. I had an artist, like, um, because I told you my, our mother passed away. And so they put, like, an okay. angel and everything. Oh, that's beautiful. The of her shoes. So she has, like, a kind of commemorable wedding shoe. That's so beautiful. We do have a question, too, um, as well. Okay, let me go to Jesse, and then I'll go to H2O. Question for sizing. Is, a tr um, is it true to size? And do what sizes do your shoes go up to, Tiana? So my shoes are a 35 to a 41 right now. But with the new collection, we are raising the size to a 41 and a half. I tried to get a 42, but it's going to be a little bit costly for me to do that. So we're going to go up to a 41 and a half. Um, all of the shoes are fairly true to size. I will say the pump. If you get mm -hmm. the Reagan, it comes in this cobalt, this beautiful, sexy cobalt blue, but it also comes in black. I would um, go up a size. Okay. But For the sure. flats that we have um, that are currently on sale right now, and um, excuse me, the flats aren't on sale, but they will be. But the flats that we have that are um, in the collection, the current collection, not the new one coming up, mm -hmm. and the um, Jackie stiletto that comes in a mustard yellow, which also would have went nicely Ooh. with your outfit <laughs> i'm over here like i'm um, to, i'm going to buy me a pair of shoes today actually <laughs> yes and so um those run pretty much true to size i say the only ones would be mm -hmm. the pump and that's because the toe cap is pretty narrow and okay as you can see so i would recommend going up a size but we also have kind of the online customer service so always just ask a question whenever and we will respond Awesome. I got another question for you. Um, and I guess this is like a styling question. Thanks, H2O. Do you buy your shoes first, then outfit? Or I guess, do you do the reverse, Tiana? I'm a shoe lady. So 
I I have I do shoes first, um, but I also know like for my clothes, um, I have pieces that I like to put together. Like I I used to wear a lot of suits because mm -hmm. of work. I didn't have to, but that was just my thing. I, I felt comfortable in a suit. I felt really okay. cute, sexy, powerful in a suit. So I would wear suits a lot. And I, I had to catch myself about five years ago. I was like, I always have on pantsuits at that. Real cute. Yeah. But I'm like, why do I always mm -hmm. have, like, and I work in a, you know, male dominated field all my life. And um, I said over the last couple of years, I was like, I'm going to make an effort to buy more dresses. You can still wear a dress. Yes. And whether you're at work or an event, et cetera, and still be powerful and still be respected and still look really fantastic and great and feminine, very feminine. And give a, like, a, like you can give a little sexy too, but you, always. Like, I feel like when, first of all, I feel like when you have on a dress, like I'm a, I'm a person who loves dresses and I work in a corporate setting, but what I'm going to say is when you wear dresses, it just, it's like an extra, like you said, that feminine element. And then right. you add on your shoes on top of it. So you already have like that four inch, maybe, oh, what did you have? You have, now you have three and a half. Three four and a half, inches. three, three and a half now, yep. <laughs> right. But then if you had, let's just say that four inch heel to complement that dress, girl, you're going to be turning heads left and right. Exactly. That's for anyone. <laughs> exactly. And that's for so, the right reasons. I'm not saying yeah. that you to work and try to get all the men. Whatever. No, <laughs> but it makes it you know, draws it draw which it's like marketing, right? You're marketing yourself. Every time you go out, you never know who you're gonna meet. And like I said, people look people look at you. I'm not it's all about the inside, but it's sometimes the inside has to complement the outside. But you need the outside sometimes to draw <laughs> the people to you to wanna even have a conversation to compliment First what you impression. have on. First impressions, yeah. Yeah. So, but I will. I, so I personally buy shoes a lot. Well, I used to. Now I design my own shoes, so I don't buy anybody else's shoes. But yeah. I used to buy shoes a lot. Um, with the with in mind that oh, they would go great with whatever I decide to buy. But I will say, being a designer, mm -hmm. I enjoy looking at the um, fashions that are coming out because then I'll mm -hmm. design a shoe. Like oh, this is the style. Then my shoe it'll influence my shoe design. Yes. So they current. When, yeah, when they put their fashions out, oh, I got a shoot for that already. I got a couple, you know, so I <laughs> yes. kind of design in that. I enjoy looking at those shows. I, I follow a lot of um, clothing designers. Um, that's not my thing, but I love yeah. clothes. I love fashion, but I follow a lot of them um, because I like to look at the colors. I love materials. Um, I love how they piece certain things together. Um, and then I, it influences the shoes that I designed so that's just another inside yeah. thing <laughs> um are you participating this year inside of um fashion week for September I I don't know I mean I haven't I haven't really decided every year I do New York fashion week in some capacity mm -hmm. um was it so February I did the essence had a yeah. fashion show yeah and um my bro Carlton Jones, check him out with his resort collections, et cetera. He and I collaborated on his show on a couple mm -hmm. of designs. So um, I did that. Um, so I don't, I don't know yet. I'll, I'll see. Cause I'm really just trying to focus on getting this collection out. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm doing some other things and maybe you'll have me back and I'll tell you about the other things. Oh, yes. We with, need to come back. <laughs> within the business, it's still within the, the shoe business, but yeah. um, you know, I'm really trying to focus on that. And my factories, like I was saying, um, are in Italy. And Italy mm -hmm. shut down, of course, because of COVID. So they're just now back online as of May. Yeah. So you can imagine production schedules and things like that. So I'm really just trying to focus on my business right now. I'm okay. getting ready to work um, with uh, a, a t very talented group of ladies on kind of my digital marketing plan. So I got a lot of things that I'm doing right now that mm -hmm. I really want to um push to get out so okay. I, I don't know if somebody needs some shoes I'm more than happy to um, oblige them and partner and collaborate I love collaborating with designers Byron Laws uh, Lars excuse me who is phenomenal he um, was one of the first designers to collaborate with me for New York Fashion Week which is huge because he's an established huge. and amazing designer so that was a, my first entry point into New York Fashion Week and then I did Paris Fashion Week on my own, which was fantastic as well. Girl, so, you're a black woman. Black women are killing it. 
And I, I'm glad that you're a part of that group because <laughs> it's, I mean, it's just great to see, and especially to know them and be able to, even today to be on my live and for everyone else to be tuned in to even have you here. I think that's actually, it's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. You know that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I'm just excited about everything that's coming along. Uh, I'll be happy when I launch, but I want to set the launch up to be very successful. Um, mm -hmm. I will probably do a pre-order, which would be really, really great. Um, so, you know, we're working on some things. <laughs> Got you. Um, is there anything at the moment that you can say about your new collection? Uh, so I showed you two of the shoes right. um, that are in the new collection. Um, what can I say about them? Uh, I love them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you still will get the um, kind of the Tiana Barnes thing, right? Which is kind of that classic shoe with a little yeah. bit of a, a flare or some spice to it, a little edge. Okay. Um, and some sexiness to it. I think you will still get that. I'm also doing an, I call it an athleisure sneaker, okay. which is, is super, super dope. I'm excited about that. I know a lot of people will want that, right? Because a lot yes. of people at this point, some people aren't wearing, you know, heels and flats and things yes. like that. But these athleisure sneakers, you're going to want to wear them. Yes. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about those. The samples that I have, I've been wearing for the last year. And that's another thing. I like to get my samples early so I can wear them. So mm -hmm. I can get the feel for myself to make sure that they're good before I put them out yeah. um, for customers to buy. And I also use them as like a gauge to see what people's thoughts are. So, you know, I travel mm -hmm. a lot. So yeah. I'll put those on when I'm going to the airport, wherever, grocery store, wherever I'm going. And I get feedback like that. People will literally Good. stop me and ask me, oh, where'd you get your shoes? Or men will say, oh, you know, I like yeah. those. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just engage them in conversation. <laughs> just, you know, pick mm -hmm. their brains because I want to know, like, yes. you know, if I put this shoe out, is it going to sell? And so I, I kind of do my own, I don't know what you call it, my own little footwear marketing, mm -hmm. grassroots marketing. You have, you have, you have to. You yeah. have to, to know what people like and what they don't like. Because if no one say anything, then most chances are they're not that grabbing. But I think with the thing that I like about your shoes are that they're very stable pieces. It, it kind of reminds me almost like a, um, you know, Tory Burch. I think when I think of Tory Burch, um, it just, it's like very classy in some ways. But when I think of Tiana, I think of classy, but fire. Like I think of like an extra pin of pizzazz. So if you're telling me yeah. that <laughs> you're coming out with sneakers, I can only imagine <laughs> what people are going to be saying to me. <laughs> <laughs> they, they should be, um, again, they should be very um, transferable from day to night as well. Um, you can wear okay. with a little dress, jeans, shorts just whatever. I love them. Um, even if you're in the airport and you have to wear a pair of slacks because you're going to a meeting or whatnot, you can yeah. still wear them. Yeah. Ooh, so. I can't I'm I'm so excited. Like, I cannot <laughs> wait. I'm excited, too. Ooh, girl. Um, <laughs> I have two more questions for you. And if anyone, if you have anything, um, we have, we'll have a little time left to get your uh, questions in as well. Um, Tiana, what is something that most of your fans, people that you sell your retail to of shoes, what is something that people don't know about you? <laughs> what do they not know about me? Yeah. I don't know. That's a question for your audience. What do they want to know about me? Um, I don't know. I, I will Even if it's something I quirky. I'm a mother. I don't know. I'm hey. a mother. I have a son um, that I love to pieces. Um, he is your twin. He is my twin. Yeah. And I, that's my my baby um what i don't know what people don't know uh i went, can you I sing? You I went to the hbcu can i what? yeah can you sing I'm i don't know you too. <laughs> don't challenge me on this line it is sunday in my mind in my mind i can carry a <laughs> tune or two okay now i don't know about everybody else what they may think but um uh, let me think. I mean, I don't know any hidden talents. Oh, I'm very adventurous. Oh my gosh. 
Yes. My son and I just went kayaking in Bear Mountain for those that are in the New York, New Jersey area. Um, I've always wanted to go. I haven't tried it yet, but I definitely want to. Oh. It's worth it. Uh, yeah, I've been kayaking a lot. My son loves to do that. So I've done that. But um, paddle boarding, I've done that. Yes. That's quite amazing. Uh, why is Candace saying no? Candace is hilarious. <laughs> Ask Candace what people want to know. She knows me. Um, Candace, you I, can, I don't know. You can t tell us on the live. Tell us on the uh, on the chat. But oh Lord, maybe not. No, we <laughs> seen that. Right, just but, kidding. We're kidding. <laughs> no, so I'm just an adventurous person. I, yeah. I mean, I've I've done parasailing. I want to do tandem jumping, but I want to do it like in Dubai because where you tandem jump, it's over the Palm Island. I've yeah. been to Dubai before, but it's over the Palm Island, so it's very scenic. So you know, I, I'm an adventurous person. So people may not know that about me. Um, Explains the shoes. Explain, what'd you say? Explains Explain it. Explains the shoes because they're very like even though you're saying you're adventurous, I mean you're still very savvy. You know, you have a little edge to you. Um, you know, you're not afraid to push the limit. You know, afraid to do different <laughs> things. And I think that also resonates yeah. with how you create and design your shoes. I like that. We'll go with that. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> afraid to do too much of anything. Um, I do get nervous on certain things, um, but you know. I, I'm I'm that person, and this is probably to a fault. If I get an idea, I'm laser focused on it. Yeah, it's gonna happen. It's, it's definitely gonna happen. Yeah. So you know, that's just kind of my personality. But I'm very fun person. I'm outgoing. Um, a little social. Yeah, <laughs> she's everyone. She's lit. Just so you know. Um, What'd you say? I said you're lit. Like oh, when you go out. It's a it's a it's it's a vibe. It's a whole vibe. <laughs> Um, I like to have fun. Yes, and we like we need more people like that. You know, you're not uptight. It's just all about just having a good time. My last question for you is, what is next for you? Like when you think of like a grand scale level, even though you've accomplished so many things to date, which have been actually very significant, what's like your ultimate goal or where you see yourself going? Ooh, I think about that all the time, and I don't come up with much. Um, but I think I'm putting this out there in the universe. And it's probably yes. like the first time I'm saying it like publicly, I say it to other people, but yeah. I think I want to have a boutique. Yes. Have that boutique so we could come and, uh, you know, have a great time. Yes. I, I, I can already see the type of atmosphere I'm creating. <laughs> I would love, but I mean, somewhere sexy though. Like the first location would be like in Miami or somewhere. Definitely. Yes, yes, or, yes. or out of the country. Everybody Ooh. knows I like to be out of the country. So okay, out of the country or Miami, I could see that. Okay, um, Tiana, like I have to tell you, this was such a great Sunday live. Um, you spilled so many gems. You talked about the shoe business. And I, you are very inspiring. And I think in most important, you're very relatable. And I encourage everyone who's on here to go and follow Tiana. Tiana, do you have any last words? Um, my last words are to everybody who's on here and um, share the message. But um, I'm very passionate, a very passionate person, um, especially about my own passion and my own life and entrepreneurship mm -hmm. but I just want to tell everybody to find your purpose and your passion and pursue it feverishly that will yes. open up your life to so many different things that you just didn't even know that you could accomplish and it's so rewarding and I think I want to hone in that message because at a time like this where we're all cooped up in the house, we're not seeing our friends, we're not being as social, yeah. that this is an opportunity to sit and think about, you know, what, 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 did, what tools did God give you to um, introduce to the world? What, yeah. What's inside of you that needs to come out to this world that you need to introduce to the world? So I just want everybody to ponder that and, um, you know, take a leap into yes. whatever whatever it is you find inside of yourself take that leap that's my message well everyone i'm going to piggyback off of that beauty is in the inside it's on the outside and loving yourself so if you love yourself 
find enough faith with inside yourself to take that leap um, for whatever it is that you know that you're that you're great at. Um, this has been a great Sunday with you, Tiana, and thank you everyone for tuning in. And do not forget to go and purchase support with your purchase with Beauty Talk Twenty is the promo code. I will post it right afterwards. And everyone have a rest of your great Sunday. Thank you, Tiana. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs>